Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel that you're watching this video on. I need to work on an intro for this channel because this channel is like popping off. Like I just want to say thank you guys for getting my past two videos, past like 600 views a piece. That is amazing. I'm very excited. So thank you so much for all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. But I'm trying to figure out what to do with this channel, trying to like rebrand and stuff like that. But today's video is special because I have the word professional in the background here for a reason, because I'm going to teach you guys how to use your iPhone like a freaking pro. Because I I know some of you guys are a little bit scared. You don't know what to do. I'm going to teach you guys this because I have so many years of experience have being a professional iPhone user and my qualifications are that I have an iPhone Pro. So that's my qualifications and like that's a pretty good qualification, right? So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the cool features and tips and tricks that I use. Not only customize my phone, but get my phone creative and cool experience and also have an aesthetically pleasing phone as well. I'm going to show you guys how to perfect the lock screen, how to perfect your home screen, how to use widgets, so many other things. So if you guys do like this type of content, I will highly suggest you guys go hit the button down below and subscribe. So let's get into it and show you guys how to be a professional iPhone user. So we're going to start off quite simple and quite easy. The first thing I'm going to teach you guys how to do is how to use stackable widgets on your home screen. So obviously, as we know, ever since iOS 14, we've gotten the ability to have widgets on our home screen and it's been such a blessing, but also it's kind of been a curse in disguise because sometimes you want to have an aesthetically pleasing home screen, but you also want to have some functionality along with it. So I'm going to be teaching you guys today how I personally decorate my home screen. You've probably seen it before in some of my what's on my iPhone videos, and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I am on my home screen right now. I have three different applications right here and I want to change one of them to have a little bit of an aesthetically pleasing widget. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to press and hold on the phone and I'm going to hit the plus icon in there and I'm going to search for a widget. So I'm going to get one of my favorite widget applications, which is of course Widget Smith. And I'm going to add a small widget to my home screen. So it's going to mess up the kind of the layout a little bit, but I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the widget and you're gonna move it and you're gonna plop that widget right on top of another widget. And it's gonna create what we call a stacked widget. So what's cool about a stacked widget is the fact that you have a cool aesthetically pleasing picture, but you also have some functional information right underneath it, which is one of my favorite things to do. To even perfect this even further, we're gonna go back into wiggle mode and we're gonna tap on the widget. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off smart rotate and widget suggestions. So widget suggestions kind of suck because what it does is randomly assigns you a random widget to your home screen. And we're gonna go back to done and that's how you do a stacked widget. I love doing this so much. I do this all the time whenever I do a cool new theme for my phone. It's probably one of the fav favorite features of iOS that not a lot of people know about. Once you guys learn how to do the widget stacking, it is going to perfect your phone game and it's gonna make it so much better. So the next thing is not really a home screen customization, but it is something that I use all the time and it really does help me clean up my notification center. So as you know, on iPhone, you have a notification center and it's basically just a big list of applications that you have got notifications from all day. And if you're anything like me, you have a bajillion shop applications, whether it be for a restaurant, whether it be for a fast food place, or whether it be for a shopping destination facility like you have a bunch of these applications right? and you want to make sure that you're getting the notifications but you also don't want to be bombarded with a billion notifications a day so what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to use the schedule summary feature and that is a cool feature what it does is it groups all your notifications together and delivers it to you at a certain time of day and it's really cool because it gives you all the notifications that you got over time but it doesn't spam you with a bajillion different separate notifications how to do that so you're going to go right into your settings and what you're going to do is you're going to go down to notifications and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to scheduled summary. So right now I have two scheduled summaries available for me. I have a scheduled summary at 8 a.m. and a scheduled summary at, at 6 p.m. So what you're going to do in your scheduled summary is you're going to look at all your applications and you're going to check the individual applications that you want to have a scheduled summary for. And then the cool thing about it is you can show your next summary here. So you can tap to show your next summary and it's going to give you a notification of what your next summary is going to be. So here's my next summary. It gives you this beautiful layout of all your your notifications that you got over the past couple hours and that's a scheduled summary so it's a fairly really cool feature that I feel like a lot more people need to utilize. I want to give you guys a little heads up to the next two features I'm going to talk about are two features that are for recent generation iPhone so the iPhone 14 and iPhone 15 series so if you don't have access to these features I'm going to give you a little timestamp right here so you can skip to the next part of the video but these are going to be two features that I use all the time on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I also use them on my iPhone 14 Pro Max as well. So the first feature I'm going to talk about is the always on display feature. I use it 
all the time and I love it so much. But we may notice that whenever you got an always on display, the display is always bright and it's always on. It's quite distracting. But what you may not know is you can actually go into settings and change the way the always on screen looks. So again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to our good old settings application right here. And then we are going to scroll down to display and brightness. And then we are going to go to the always on display. So I have my always on display on, but what I do is I turn show wallpaper off and it gives you a definitely a different view. Notifications are gonna be showing up constantly at the bottom of your screen. But what I like to do is turn off the show wallpaper because it gives you kind of a different feel. This is my always on display right here. It looks like the screen is off and it just has the time and it has these little widgets and then it has the notifications that pop up right here. And then you tap the screen and it activates, right? When you do turn show wallpaper off, it gives you two different types of views. So it gives you this view and then it gives you this view. That is how to customize your always on display if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 14 Pro. So this next tip is for the iPhone 14 Pro and also for the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. And that is how to use your dynamic island like a freaking pro because I love the dynamic island. Obviously, Apple introduced the dynamic island last year in 2022, and it's been a staple part of the iPhone ever since. And now the iPhone 15 series, both pro and non-pro iPhones get access to the dynamic island. So a lot more people now have access to this awesome, amazing feature. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use your dynamic island in a better way than before. And those are with a few different applications. So first, I'm gonna show you guys kind of a fun application that I like to use, and that is called Hit the Island. This literally is a game for the dynamic island and it's kind of stupid but also it's kind of awesome at the same time okay so as you can see we're gonna hit the island and literally it's this it's a game where you hit the island but nonetheless that kind of doesn't really do anything but there is another application that really does utilize the dynamic island in a cool way and that is pixel pals so this is an application that puts a little tiny little pet like a tamagotchi right in the top corner of your screen and the coolest part is when you go home it always pops up with you wherever you go in every single application if i want to interact with him i long press on the dynamic island and I can either feed him or play with him. That's another application you can use with your dynamic island. So our next pro iPhone tip is going to be how to use your control center to the best of your ability. So obviously this one is for anyone who has an iPhone, you have a control center. So here right now is my control center, which is really awesome. But what's really cool is that you can customize this control center to way more things than you ever thought you could before. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So this is my control center. Like I said, I have all of these applications that I use all the time, whether it be Shazam, whether it be screen mirroring or trying to find my iPhone. I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to really kind of perfect the control center in the best way possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into our settings application and go to the control center icon. And here is your control center control. So what we can do is we can either subtract or add features and then we can reorder, reorder the way that your control center looks. So what's cool is that you can add your home icon right here. So you can control your entire home screen. You can add these four different icons right here. So I can control all my lights through my control center and I can make my room dark or I can turn my room on and I can go right into visually in here and I can change a setting of an individual light, or I can make a light a certain color if I wanted to, which is really cool. So that is how you can control your control center and use it like a pro. Oh my goodness, what is this? Is that a fuzz? Girl. <laughs> All right guys, you made it to the end of the video and now it's finally time to learn about some fun, cool, exciting ways to customize your lock screen. My computer gave up and honestly I'm giving up at this point <laughs> at the same time. So now we're gonna talk about ways to customize your lock screen and also your home screen with awesome and cool widgets. They're definitely gonna spice up your life and make your life more interesting. The first application I use a lot is called iScreen, which is a really cool application that gives you, so on iScreen, you have these really, really cool uh, widgets that are really customizable and cool and interesting. And they like move sometimes as well, which is really cool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into our lock screen widgets and we're gonna do some really cool ones right here. So you can do cool animated widgets on your lock screen, which is really cool. So I am going to choose a cute little animated widget that I wanna have on my lock screen. I want this little firework on my lock screen. So I'm gonna hit this little firework right here. But we can do other styles too. Look at all these cool different styles you can put on your little home screen. Anyways, we're gonna save this one to our widgets. And now we're gonna go into our customization right here and we're gonna add this, our ice cream widgets. So our circular widget, we're gonna add right here. Anyways, I set this widget right here and what's really cool is it's gonna animate all the time whenever I unlock my phone. You can also set really cool widgets just for your home screen in general. Let's say I wanna add this really cool calendar widget. I can the hell out of it so I can change the font. I want a cool border, so let's say I want a black border. I'm gonna save it to my widgets, but I have to watch an ad. So, 
So now I added this widget and we're gonna add this little widget right here. So I believe it's called ice cream and I have this widget right here and we're gonna go wabam and we're gonna choose and we have calendar one and wabam, we have our widget right there. So another application I like to use a lot as well is of course the widget smith application. So obviously as you can tell, I have not used widget smith since the holidays and I didn't even know they had freaking uh, little widget smith ones you can add here. <gasps> you could do a custom one. Wow. Stop it right now. That is so cool. We're gonna do that right now. <gasps> this is so cute. I love it. And then we have this one. Look at look at I'm gonna have my dog on my home screen. This is so cute. I love this. <gasps> that is cute. On my lock screen with me, which is so cute. We're gonna go into a small one and we're gonna change this up. Not only can you do photos, but you can also do photo collections. You can do a music collection, which I never tried this before. We're gonna add music. Oh, it acts as your Apple Music library? That's really cool. So we're gonna add in music. So let's do yes and. Do you guys remember cover photo on your iPod touches? This is so cool, but look at, it changes the app icon. That is sick. And we're gonna do another one too. Let's do another icon. We'll do an hourglass. That's cute. Look at that, that's so cute. And we can change the theme of it. Aluminum, ooh, look at that. And let's change this one up. I want the moon phase on my home screen. And let's do a type, aluminum as well. So I have three custom widgets I wanna do on my home screen. So we're going to add them right away and we're gonna see how this looks. Add. So now we have three widget smith ones. We're gonna go customize them. Do widget number two which is the hourglass. And does it actually like change? Music icon, which is really cool, is you can actually tap it and you can play a song. You tap the sides and you have, a, that is sick. So if you have Apple Music, this isn't available on Spotify, I don't think. You can add your favorite songs to your home screen and it's gonna play them. These are some cool widgets and applications that I actually never thought of you can use before, but you can, and that is awesome. So the next application we have is Lock Widget. So here is, all oh, this is so cool. So we have other cool customizable little animated icons you can add, but you also have some really cool ones that you can do like inline. So, so I graduate on May 5th, so we're gonna add May 5th to my calendar. Countdown. That is so cute. I can add this right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this to my lock screen. We have to watch a little ad. One of my favorite ones to do also as well is add a calendar. So I can do that right now. Customize and we're gonna get rid of the Lucy picture, but we're gonna add a calendar. So, and we're gonna add our calendar right here, which is so cute. Um, so see, we have my calendar up here as well. And now we have my graduation up there and we have my calendar down there. So this is a really cool way to kind of spice up your lock screen and make it really cool. So yeah, those are some cool applications that you can use to really spice up your home screen. All right, guys, thank you guys so much. You guys completed the course. You guys have officially graduated being an iPhone Pro 101 course. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it hanging out with you guys. If you guys want to keep up with me, be sure to click that button down below and subscribe. Click the notification button and notifications on whenever I upload the next video. I have a bunch of social media links. They're all going to be down in the description and down below. I have music. I have a podcast. Thank you guys for watching this video. I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.